We're back, people, in City Breaking Film on Leon Eichenberg, Part 3, The Patriots Edition. And I think this was probably his best game played in the season. Obviously, it didn't start great when he played against the Bills. I think he struggled versus the Eagles, too. And I'm excited to get uh, Connor Williams back because I really think he's, like, the most important part up front for this offensive line to really click. But in this game, Liam did play pretty solid, so got to give him some credit where credit is due, especially when I think run blocking. I think he's definitely at his best, as you'll see throughout this video, when he gets, uh, like, with his leverage and angles to the second level. Like, he does a good job uh, knowing where he's going, his aiming points, things like that, to cut guys off. He's just not the most gifted physically and athletically. Uh, here we get to see him in some pass pro. He wasn't, uh, he was pretty solid overall in pass pro in this game. Nothing too crazy, but not terrible. Kind of gets tossed to the side initially here on this club, but uh, left guard Cotton does a good job passing this back off, and they work a twist and stunt game. I think they did a good job there in this one, just passing these things off, being in the correct position, not getting too overextended, things like that. And uh, that was probably, you know, this, yeah, like overall, I would say this was Eichenberg's best game, but I am ready for Connor Williams and the whole team to just really get healthy. Eichenberg did a really good job hooking like one techniques all day long, uh, no matter what the call was. Like they only gained one yard here, but he gets his job done. This guy is a straight up nose on this one, but so it's like pretty easy leverage advantage to win. But a lot of the times they had like leverage advantage to the play side and he would do a good job. But he gets off the ball here pretty quickly, gets engaged, pretty good hand placement, has a decent base here as well. And he does a good job of like straining right there. And now he just gets his hips across. And sometimes when it comes to blocking, it's all about positioning. Uh, a little late to hit this cutback lane for Raheem, but there was some work to get here. It's just he got a little too far pushed outside before he could have hit this hole. Uh, his aiming point is to the outside, so don't blame him too much here. But not being able to get up and get that, I had am ready. Like I want to see HN back too. But Eichenberg did a decent job, I would say, specifically doing this type of thing throughout this whole game. He was very consistent in this area. Another example of it: this one being a little more successful on the pitch to Jeff Wilson and just straining. I love how he sustains this block. He's not able to hook him as much this time. This guy has the leverage advantage, but just getting control at the point of attack. Look at a technique here. Like, he gets off the ball pretty well laterally, and then he's got that high hand, low hand. He's got, like, the, the shoulder dipped right there. This is good technique, and now he's, like, driving his feet with it. And this guy's not able to, you know, disengage. He's latching on very nicely, but not holding at the same time. That's good technique. Using your hips, torque right there, upper body tar torque <laughs> um, by Liam. So, got to give him the credit on that type of play, because that's, that's definitely where he's at his best. And he was at his best at, in this game, for sure, when it came to the blocks uh, on like tosses, things, anything to the outside really where he had to get there taking an angle and also doing it to going to the second level as well. He does it again. He's hooking these guys. He's reaching these blocks and he just cuts them off. Great job. If everyone can do this like in a sink here, I think the biggest difference is Connor does this really well as also like hit with his athleticism. The thing is he does this same thing as Lamb, but he's also like really powerful at the point of attack and athletic so he's a bit better out in space and he can create displacement so like once everyone is out there at the same time but you can just see him hook this guy instantly great hit movement just get your hips across boom good technique good nuance gets this control of this lane only you know gains about four yards on this specific play but i think soon these types of plays are going to start going for big games again. But he can still struggle like one-on-one -on -one when he faces like top tier opponents. I believe this is Barmore and he just loses the hands battle. He doesn't even like, uh, this is on the Tyreek touchdown so it doesn't uh, affect him to play too much. But he does definitely lose this rep. He doesn't even get overextended here. This isn't even a bad technique. Sometimes you just lose to people who are a superior player. Just overpower you with their hand placement. Good thing Tyreek Hill is so fast and Tua is still getting out the ball so quickly even on deep passes. Uh, this is like the magic of the offense because I feel like, you know, the O-line has played well this year overall, but the scheme, like people talk about the scheme, like enhancing to his ability, which it does, like it enhances every person's ability on this offense, but the whole offense wouldn't run without Tua. That's the difference. It's a combination of it. But I think the O-line honestly is probably the most enhanced unit from this scheme. It makes their lives really easy, even on plays where like, you're, you're throwing the ball deep. The ball comes out so fast. This is another thing that Liam does. The initial part of the play can look good, and then he can just get overpowered. You don't want to, like, when you're off in the line, you don't want to end up on the ground, especially like this. Like, the initial part, getting off laterally, um, getting, like, control of this block here, he's able to hook him too, but he just gets 
too far overextended the guy just tosses him to the side he's not the most athletic physical to regain that balance like it obviously didn't matter too much on this specific play but these are the types of things you don't want on a consistent level so like while i do want to give credit to liam because i think he has been playing much much better especially after that first performance because that was like really really bad and the Eagles' performance wasn't good either. But I do think, you know, the whole line unit, even the guys that have struggled, have given some performances where they played solid. So I don't mind Liam as a depth guy. It's just I don't think we need to see him for starting any more games this season. Like this rep from Liam in pass pro here. Um, pretty good job mirroring and matching with his footwork. Not the easiest thing to do, but he gets a one-on-one -on -one basically. He gets a little help from the right guard there late. But he was pretty good technique right here. Like technically he doesn't get super overextended he's bending at the knees uh the body lean up top is pretty good and then he kind of gets a little wide here in his base but he's able to recover good hands reset those hands and he's like tying it all together feet hands hips that's all pretty good stuff for Meikenberg. so he, clearly the technique has improved which i think was like a huge thing for him because you have if you're going to be limited like athletically physically and those are things you're you know it's like god given it's hard to really enhance those things at least a lot maybe you can do it a little bit but tech like your technique is something you control a lot so i'm glad the butch Berry came along because he's definitely helped a lot of these guys i do like to see this type of thing from him like there's nothing too crazy here in the beginning he doesn't end up really having to block anyone he doesn't really have an impact on the play but throwing a deep e to the ground this is not something you usually see out of eichenberg even though it's a you know a defensive back and he should be doing this he usually isn't the nasty type of player i do like how he gets out of his stance here sort of rip through those defensive linemen get to that next level and then finish this block throw him to the ground let's go liam that's i don't think i've ever seen him put somebody on the ground like that and even if it's a db i don't care we're giving liam uh, you know a pancake for the week another area where the o-line coach deserves credit is this whole unit has been so good versus twist and stunts one of the better units in the league like statistically versus twist and stunts they don't face it very often because the ball comes out so quickly but they've been way better like knowing wh what their job is their responsibility especially when they're like sliding to a side because like you're sliding that side so you're typically playing like zone to that side man to the other um have protection like this and they slide and they bring three here so he's got to get you know the innermost guy he's waiting he's staying patient he sees this guy loop around and then just takes him out of the way gives time for two to throw the back shoulder it's not completed but that's a good rep by eichenberg and honestly the whole line they worked really well in unison this game gotta give him their credit and like there was four backups playing out some point in this game or four guys who like you know lambs played a lot so it's like you know not a crazy thing but the interior was robert jones Liam meikenberg and lester cotton for a majority of this game and i think all three guys played above average i think i've broken this down this play down specifically in all my o-line videos because it's just so good for everyone especially robert jones and lester cotton like the play they make so if you saw those videos you'll know why but eikenberg also does a good job here they're sliding to the right finding his guy getting in control because he slides here knows that this inside guy should go to robert jones because he has the help to this side and then eichenberg sees this guy looping around so he gets his eyes across get control of this defensive tackle bring your body your feet with you to get control and they just pass that off beautifully love to see that from the backups in a game you know that's hard to do it's not easy like i think they deserve a ton of credit for how they performed in this one honestly once they get a chan back for some of these toss plays and the starting o-line like I think that's the thing they're missing most in this offense, like the sweeps, the jet sweeps, the end arounds, the reverses, anything where H hand can get his speed to capture the edge and like widen a defense horizontally so they can attack more vertically. God, this offense becomes so special. And like they block it, you know, a lot of people are doing it. Like Eichenberg does a great job here up front to reach this guy. Look how he gets him across, get that left hand. And the guy tries to toss him to the side. Look at the footwork here. Flip his hips to cut this guy off. That's beautiful work from Eikenberg. That's where he really excelled in this game. But these teams are like too fast getting out horizontally. They expect this play from the Dolphins. They've ran it a lot. And they really need Achan because he's the one who really excels here. Moser does a decent job, but I don't think like Ahmed's quicker than he is fast. Wilson isn't really the speed guy to get to the edge either. They're more, you know, Wilson's more of a yeah your inside runner and they they can run in get some yards but devon's the one who really opens up this offense so really excited to get him back he's probably the player i'm most excited to see for the rest of this year um, he might go for 300 versus the raiders honestly <laughs> last play that we're gonna break down 
for the Dolphins here. This was like their last drive going into score. This is when he dumps it off to Smythe. Makes a pretty good play here. He's looking, you know, hit Waddle Hill down the field. And look at the O-line up front again. Like, Patriots are giving a bunch of different fronts here, different looks. They slide to the right. They have Lamb and Jones basically working a double on the backside because no one else comes here. And Eichenberg and Cotton working another game here. This is great stuff. I love how, they, look at all the drag hands here. They basically connect hands to form like a wall here. It's pretty funny. And then Julian Hill's also there to help. But he passes it off. This is where, like, usually it was Cotton, like, throwing it to Eichenberg. And Eichenberg had, was already, like, in control. But now it's like Eichenberg has to be the one to pass it off, which I think is the more impressive role. So it's nice to see him doing this one too. Pass it off, let Cotton get control. And then you get in space here, uh, hold your positioning. Just winning the whole time never allows this guy to loop through here and just get your body in the way. Give Tua enough time to get to his third read, which was Durham Smythe, and pick up a first down on a second and six situation. When you're going into score to possibly take the two score lead to win the game, put it away. Great work from the O-line. Gotta give him the credit. I was very impressed going back and watching the film with these guys, truly. Um, I think after what I've seen as a whole from Liam this year, God, that first game was hard to watch. It really was. And I, I mean, if you watched my video on it, it was probably the most trolly video I ever made because it was hard to take pretty seriously. I think, you know, the other games, he definitely played better. I'm trying to remember the ones he played off the top of my head. I know pretty. I think Connor played in one after the Bills game and then got re-injured. But Liam played in pretty much all the other ones. And I think... The Philly game, the whole line struggled, but that is a tough ask for it because Cotton came in after like the first drive, so they didn't have any, you know, working together experience. And now, you know, they had a week to practice together, and things didn't even go well because Hunt got hurt during the game. So it's three guys out there who weren't expected to all be out there at the same time. They all thought like they might, you know, Cotton and Jones started the game rotating at left guard, and then it finished with Jones at left guard and Cotton at right guard. And they all did a good job, and shout out to Liam. Give the credit where the credit is due. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.